This is an ultrasound duplex examination to rule out renal artery stenosis. Doppler was also used to assess both renal veins and the vena cava. This is a dual image grayscale demonstrating a normal aorta at the region of the renal artery origins. This demonstrates that there is complete filling of the aorta with color flow indicating the lack of disease in this area. Pulse Doppler of the aorta indicates the peak systolic velocity is 94.4 centimeters. This is a grayscale image demonstrating the origins of the right and left renal arteries. They appear to be free of plaque on this grayscale image. Color Doppler indicates that both vessels fill well with color Doppler indicating lack of plaque or stenosis. This is a pulse Doppler image of the right renal artery and uh, this is has a very sharp uh, upstroke with a uh, acceleration time of only 51 uh, milliseconds, which is excellent. Uh, the resistive index is normal, and the peak systolic velocity of 21 is certainly not anywhere near three and a half times the aortic peak systolic velocity of 94 centimeters per second. The mid portion of the right renal artery appears to be free of plaque and fills completely with colored Doppler. The velocity is 162 centimeters per second. Again, a very sharp upstroke. Uh, the uh, acceleration time is uh, 73 uh, microseconds and uh, the resistive index is normal. The pre-dichrotic notch can be seen particularly on this waveform here, which is an indication of normalcy of flow. The length of the right kidney is 10.1 centimeters, although this length may be foreshortened by shadowing from bowel gas. Color Doppler demonstrates some of the branches within the right kidney. This image of the right kidney taken through a posterior approach demonstrates the length at 11 centimeters uh, and this is a normal length. It is easier to visualize the individual branches uh, within the kidney on this image. There is low resistance flow in the uh, upper pole uh, segmental artery. The resistive index was not calculated because the diastolic velocity wasn't determined on this, but uh, it is approximately half of the peak systolic, which is a normal uh, relationship. The same is true here in the upper pole cortex of the right kidney. This is likely an arcuate artery. Again, sharp upstroke and uh, continuous flow. This is a lower pole of the right kidney. This is uh, a segmental, segmental vessel. Again, low resistance flow, although we don't have a resistive index calculated. Uh, the uh, upstroke is very sharp, and uh, this appears to be a normal signal. In the lower pole, the signal is, is poorly captured by the Doppler. It appears rounded and uh, this is likely to be technical. This is an image of the right renal artery distally where it enters the right kidney and the velocity at this point is 67 centimeters per second. It has a very sharp upstroke under 100 microseconds 
uh, steep upstroke slope and this is a normal uh, uh, waveform for this vessel. An image of the right renal vein uh, demonstrates that it fills with color flow and it has a normal venous uh, pattern. It has some sharp pulsatility to it and this is likely due to movement of this vein by the highly pulsatile renal artery adjacent to it. The proximal portion of the left renal artery has a sharp upstroke, a very low acceleration time under 100 microseconds and the peak systolic velocity is 82 centimeters per second, less than the velocity uh, during systole of the aorta in the same location. The mid portion of the right renal artery gives a systolic peak velocity of approximately 98 centimeters per second. This again is normal, very sharp upstroke uh, with a low 73 microsecond uh, acceleration time. Uh, we can see a pre uh, dichrotic notch at the peak here and the dichrotic notch down here clearly separate from each other. This is a normal sign for flow in the renal arteries. The size of the left kidney is 12 centimeters, approximately one centimeter longer than the right kidney. This is a normal relationship. The branching can be demonstrated easily with color Doppler. The upper pole has a segmental vessel which has a sharp upstroke and in this case the resistive index was measured and is 0.7 which is a normal number. The uh, one of the arcuate vessels appears to have been measured on this uh, image and uh, the uh, it appears to be a low resistance flow although this is a suboptimal Doppler waveform. This Doppler waveform in the lower pole of the left segmental demonstrates nice low resistance flow. We can see the pre dichrotic notch on that particular waveform and uh, the velocity is, is within normal range. The arcuate artery in the cortex uh, at the lower pole of the left kidney has low resistance flow, although the resistive index was not measured on this signal. The distal left renal artery appears to be somewhat tortuous as it enters the renal pelvis. The peak systolic velocity for this vessel is 154 centimeters per second, still well under the three and a half times number of the uh, multiple of the aortic velocity, which is 94 centimeters per second. There is a normal resistive index of 0.67, a low acceleration time of 73 microseconds, and a very sharp acceleration slope. The left renal vein can be seen clearly as it uh, courses anterior to the uh, aorta. The uh, renal vein has a near constant flow. The pulsatility is likely due to pulsations within the aorta. The Velocity within the renal vein appears to accelerate uh, at the as it crosses the mid portion of the aorta. This is likely due to the uh, pincer maneuver, the slight compression of this vein between the SMA and aorta during scanning. A thin left renal vein can be seen here. Again, the SMA. Uh, can, can trap this vessel between the aorta and the SMA and decrease uh, blood flow uh, distally to this area of compression. This is evident in this image where we see a larger lumen toward the kidney. 
blood flow is obstructed slightly here because of the pincer effect. This is a normal scanning phenomenon and does not indicate the presence of disease. Another color image with some color flash demonstrating this. We can see the change of direction as the vessel courses over the uh, aorta on its course to the uh, vena cava. The origin of the right renal artery can be demonstrated on this image and appears to have a slight tortuosity to it. The SMA right renal artery uh, as it enters the aorta and the left renal vein coursing between the aorta and uh, SMA can be demonstrated on this sagittal section. The vena cava fills with color. This is a shadow from a, a gas bubble in the bowel. This is a normal vena cava pattern. There's an atrial kick and some respiratory phasing, which is normal for the inferior vena cava in the upper abdomen. This exam indicates normal blood flow in both renal arteries. The renal artery to a order ratio is clearly under two and a half on, uh, in all segments of both renal arteries. There appears to be low resistance flow, sharp upstroke, uh, or therefore lack of parvus tardis in waveforms of the larger vessels. Uh, this is a normal exam.